May 20th, 2019, board meeting for the Michigan City Port Authority. First order of business is to uh, approve or correct the minutes from the last meeting. Have, a, have any comments? Any motion? I had the opportunity to read through them and uh, agreed with everything we printed, and I make the motion we accept. We have a motion to approve. We have a second. Second. From uh, Aaron. Mr. Garrett, and uh, any comments on the minutes? Any comments? <coughs> Hearing none, vote for approval. All those in favor of accepting the minutes as written, say aye. 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 Opposed? Approved. Okay, we've got uh, quite a few people here tonight, and, I've, uh, and uh, I believe we have, probably everybody has something to say. Uh, Mr. Cooper, thanks for coming. <laughs> Appreciate that. The young lady with you, do you have anything to say, ma'am? No, I don't. Thank okay, you. thank you. Um, so the rest of the comments from the public. Mr. Terry. Mr. Terry from Harper Country Adventures, uh, tour boat people. Hi. He, uh, he stopped by, talked to the Harbor Master, and we've asked him to give a little update on uh, what's happening this year. So, the boat's back uh, after a three-week <coughs> delay with all the weather. We took it up north to uh, Grand Haven, gave it a nice paint job, and put Michigan City on the back of it and struck New York off of there. Oh, even though I left on the bottom, it says Michigan City by way of really? Erie Canal. So, we pay a little homage to where it spent its life. Um, we are going to open for the season Friday. Um, we'll be running seven days a week from Memorial Day to Labor Day. This year, um, last year we were running four tours a day. They were 90 minutes. This year we are going to be running three tours a day, but we added 30 minutes to them. Because sometimes with the waves, um, it took a little bit longer to get down to the homes of tomorrow down there past Beverly Shores. And I really want to make sure we have enough time to, to give the tour the best we can, to put out all the information. And coming back, if we have a little more time, then it allows us to cut on this side of the wall and show everybody the beach and, and what else we have going on down here. Um, so our tour times are 11 to 1 and 3 to 5 and then 7 to 9 is our sunset tour which last year all of our tours were primarily heading towards the Beverly Shore area but I think the people that come out for the 7 o'clock tour they're not necessarily as interested in hearing as much history as they are getting their selfies or their, their group shots in with the sunset behind them and, and having their cocktails. So this year we're gonna, we built a tour, a lightly narrated tour heading that way um, towards the new Buffalo area and back. Uh, Fridays and Saturdays on the sunset tour, we'll have live entertainment on the top deck, one or two piece acoustics playing. Um, we're really excited about the season. We are, uh, if it wasn't for this rain, we would be so far ahead. And I mean, from a booking standpoint, you know, last year we didn't have the opportunity because we are new and a lot of the groups book a year in advance, but we have a lot, we are doing between June and August, almost 2,500 kids from summer, different summer camps are coming here. Wow. All the different senior groups from the area. Um, I just booked today the prosecuting attorneys for the state of Indiana are coming here for their, their, their stay in Michigan City and they're, they're doing two different boat tours. Um, we have some great groups and I keep hearing the same thing, you know, they're tired of spending their money out of state and they, and they want to stay in state and they want to do stuff. So we're, we're super excited to be doing these. Um, I filed some permits with the Parks Department this year. If you're not aware, we're going to do some dockside events where we're going to, you know, all last summer I kept sitting watching Millennium Plaza just sit. They had two weddings all year. That is the most beautiful, underutilized piece of real estate that we have. So I filed some permits. We're going to start June 28th with a Blues Brews and Barbecue Cruise. We're doing a reggae event. We're doing a Grateful Dead event. And then we'll 
finish it off at the end of summer with a Jimmy Buffett event. And so we'll have a band on the, the band standing <coughs> area, in, bless you, in uh, Millennium Plaza. And I filed my permits with the state for a, a beer and wine thing. So I have some wineries coming in and some breweries to do some tastings. So that'll be included. Um, you'll get food with the events or using cool runnings, uh, smoked barbecue, uh, fish camp, all the local restaurants are participating. <laughs> and uh, so we're just trying to make our own little party going on down here this summer. So we're really excited about that. Um, kayak rentals. Uh, I, I think everybody else is more excited about it than I am. You know, I just did it on a whim because all last summer we kept saying, where do people rent them kayaks? And I kept saying, well, they don't, that's theirs. Um, but little did I know that the people at Friendship Botanical Gardens, they've been wanting to do something with their waterfront property up there. So they're actually putting in a dock up there. So you'll be able to take and rent a kayak from me, go to base camp. She'll have prepackaged lunches Take your lunch, get in your kayak, go to Botanical Gardens. I'll collect that. It's part of your rental fee, and then I'll remit that back to them. Get off at their dock, eat your picnic lunch, tour the Botanical Gardens, and come back down the creek. So we're super excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to a great summer. You know, I can't say it enough. I was telling, I'm always telling Tim, you know, it's... I have my big part of my business down in Buffalo with the buses and the wine tours, but uh, it's just amazing to see all the people, you know, all the Chicagoans, they think everything starts and stops at exit one. So it's kind of cool when people come down and we've been working on the boat and it just makes me feel good when people walk by and they're like, oh, welcome back, you know, we're glad to see you back. And just how many things that people don't know, like it amazes me how many people don't know we have a zoo here yeah. because they've never come down. And, so we're looking at a great summer, and we're just trying to be good ambassadors and spread the word of Michigan City. Appreciate it. I, so. I, I know from you working with us, uh, and we working with you last year, that you know that the Harbor Master and his staff are available to help you overcome obstacles that you have and uh, work with you. So we, we we encourage you to keep them in your in, in in your in your plans as you go forward. And again, we're we're happy to have you here. Yeah, everybody's been great from right. the city to the parks department to the port authority. Right. It, it, it's just been great. So, and as long as you'll have us, we're going to keep at it. I told you, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna, we haven't started this year, but I'm already on next year. So, I'm going to come back and talk to you about parasailing at the That's end of the season because I have a guy who's retiring down in Florida and wants to sell me his parasailing boat. And my wife was talking to him when my, she took my kids down there for spring break and he started asking, well, you know, her husband does and why I wasn't there because I was working on a boat. And then he called me and he's like, I'm going to operate it this year and then I want to sell it. So I'm like, great. That would be something cool to have, parasailing. Super, yeah. super. Board, do you have any uh, comments or questions? Yeah. Mr. Johns. Vic, uh, have, have you uh, made any plans for press release? You know, this is a whole bunch of really great information. Uh, is, is there... A, so I have some, you plan on sharing that with the community at large? Yeah, I have some stuff like, coming up that we're going to do, um, that different uh, media outlets are going to come down. But the thing was, and they wanted to do it, they all wanted the boat. You know, nobody wants to see me standing on the dock. They want to see that boat. And literally, we just got back in port last week because I couldn't, we couldn't get that paint job finished up because it just kept raining out of stuff in Grand Haven. Well, I, and, and one of the reasons I asked the question that, uh, beyond the obvious is that I have so many acquaintances when I mention the boat they say what boat you know people live in Michigan City cross that bridge every day and somehow or other they don't recognize what is there so we just and I'm really I'm trying to get as much as I can into to, to the community the different stuff and I'm going to look at my phone real quick because I, I, I won't remember the name of the school. Um, we just did the, all the schools at Pine School. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I just gave every student in that school free passes for the boats. And so I've been trying to reach out to the different entities and, you know, I, I, I'll I want everybody to come here. I, I want everybody in Michigan City to, to, to come on that boat. And, and I also realize that 
you know, because I am a family person. If you've got two or three kids, it's it's not a, well. There's nothing cheap anymore. Taking your kids to the movies feels like it costs you a hundred dollars to get them some popcorn and something to drink. So I'm trying to do as much as I can to get into the community um, it, through the different groups. Everybody who's asked for a donation, anybody who's asked about any kind of discount stuff, uh, we are all over it. So that's how I got off. I'm doing every summer camp at the dunes. All of them are all coming with the thing. I have uh, about a half a dozen school groups coming that are coming to bring the kids. And you can ask any, any of the groups, you know, they're like, okay, well, we want to do, you know, 125 kids or one of them's like, I think almost 300. And they say, well, how much? And I just turn around and say, what do you got in the budget? You tell me what you got and I'm not even gonna take that. So I think I charge them three bucks a kid. Because this is stuff that we're doing not in my normal time. It doesn't take away from my business. So to take them out from 9 to 10.30, that doesn't take away anything for the rest of my day because I haven't even gotten into my regular tour times yet. Um, so, yeah, I, I, as much as I can, it, it, getting out there, I, I increased our billboards this year. Uh, but, yeah, there's still a lot of people, you know, everybody asked me about last summer, you know, like, how was the summer? And I tell everybody the same story. There's a lady who lives in Beverly Shores. She was 93 years old, never been on that lake, lived her whole <laughs> life. Came and took a boat ride with her son, her daughter, all their families. Just everybody was talking to her. It reminded me of the old lady on the Titanic that everybody was talking to. About maybe six weeks goes by, I get a call from her son, and she passed. And so he asked about spreading the ashes. And he said, you know, we want to come and take a tour. And I'm like, no, we're not going to take a tour. You come down and meet me Sunday morning at 9.30 on the dock and I'll take you and your family out. You don't have to be and share that with the regular public. So, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to get everybody can, I can on that. So, um, okay. if you got anything that you want me to go after or you got any groups, any kind of philanthropies that you're in, you just let me know and say the word and I, we're there. Mrs. Mayor, I think you have a question. It's, it sounds very exciting, and we definitely want to make sure that information uh, is um, gotten to as many people as possible. Um, I think it's probably important that when your time allows that you touch base with uh, some of the top um, uh, public relations uh, entities like the Visitors Bureau, uh, Michigan City's event coordinator, they have a, a event coordinator, and then maybe the communications director of the school. I think if you target those three top entities with the LaPorte County Visitors Bureau, uh, the city's uh, events director, and the communications director of the schools, if you start with those tops and then that information can, information can be put on their websites, the city has a website, uh, the LaPorte County Visitors Bureau has a website. I know that you do have some things on the Port Authority's website. So I, I think it would best, you know, uh, would help you rather if you start with those top uh, communication entities. And the other thing is um, during your tours, I don't know how feasible it is for you, but people do like uh, little quick blurps of information in a brochure that they can take with them or pass along to other people. So, so know, we have to make mention. We have our brochure, our brochures at the dock side. There I I told everybody, I Tim's heard me say it, it there was only one the guys from Ryan's were the only ones that took me up last year. I have this beautiful sign down there. Everybody's walked past their seats. It's got all those brochure holders. They're the only ones who brought me brochures. Them in the museum. I told everybody, bring me your brochure. I don't need my brochures at my dock. You, they've already found me. They're at the boat. Only two people took me up on bringing stuff down. Um, <clears throat> is it to create, replay? Are, those are the guys. Are they? The, no, no. This is different. Okay. Uh, the city has an events coordinator. So when we have things like uh, what you're offering, big um, uh, events and you know, uh, public relation things going on. This person helps coordinate to get that information out to the public. Mm -hmm. So the city has that. Uh, the LaPorte County Visitors Bureau is the other avenue. Mm -hmm. And then the schools has a communications uh, person. So if you meet with those people and then discuss how you can filter your information to the public through their, um, you know. I will reach out to yeah. everybody involved. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Tomorrow, we do a lot with the report <coughs> convention and tourism bureau. We're, we're partnering on a couple events this year. Um, I, I just started, you know, over the last maybe two months making some inroads to the schools, but I didn't know there was one person at the top. I've been reaching out to the individual schools. Well, they do have a, um, I, I think the title is a communications uh, director. <laughs> director, yes. And of course, um, she would take that information back to her superiors. And like I said, with the city and the events coordinator, because they would be the ones that would help you uh, disseminate that information out there. So great. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, Danny, got a quick yeah, question? Yeah, just uh, comment. Uh, we're pretty proud of, you probably know, the new parking lot that we have. It's a beautiful parking on, lot. On the side, and we're, we as a board are pretty proud of it. Did you notice any problems with parking or here? Anything of parking last year? No, I, nobody, nobody said anything to me. The seniors, I don't know that you could ever get close enough for them. I think if they could, they'd just like to drive right up next to the boat and roll into it. Um, a lot of the people that came, they they parked in Washington Park because they came for the day. You know, where they're, they're, they'd come and take the boat ride, but it would be somewhere in their day, and then they, they're going to the beach or going to the zoo or going wherever. So parking, um, I, I felt really good about parking. I, I've been trying to figure out is who fills that top lot up? Is that the armory people? Because that lot, I mean, I'm here at early in the morning, and that lot's already full. And I can't figure out, I know it's not the Port Authority working people, it's not Fish Camp's employees, they're not open, like who fills that top parking lot? Because that's where I guide a lot of the seniors to. Vic, from my observation on that question, uh, a lot of the people that are using the Millennium Plaza parking lot are parking there and walking to the beach okay. to, to avoid uh, the entry fee for the car. Okay. But you know, the other thing, and I, I, I will reach out to the city tomorrow, and I was telling Tim today, everybody's been walking by, he's been asking about that kayak launch there that we put in for the rentals. And like I told him, I, I told a bunch of people that asked about it, I don't care if you use it. Now, obviously, if we're launching a, a rental, I would ask you to wait for it. But people are, everybody's been asking about it, because for a lot of people, they don't want to launch at Hanson and have to pedal all, pedal all the way down the creek to go out to the lake. Sure. You know, so we, you know, I'll reach out to the city, whoever, if, if you want to put something out there, I don't have a problem with people using that, right. that dock if that's what they want to do, launch their kayaks there. Right. Sounds good. What, what is your kayak date? This Friday. We, we're, once we open, we're 100%. Both boats, all the kayaks, everything Friday. Okay. <clears throat> Weather permitting. I got to keep saying that because I'm going to want to stop raining. All 12, Vic? What's that? Will you have all 12 kayaks? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have a Great. question in the back from Mr. Philbrook from the uh, Yacht Club. Hi. For Vic, the Yacht I Club, and I'm here to talk about uh, events. But you mentioned um, some party style events uh, at Millennium Hat Plaza, and um, <clears throat> perhaps we should be talking. Uh, the Yacht Club uh, brings in a whole bunch of sailboats. It's the Tri State Regatta. Yep. <clears throat> and that's uh, September 1st. Yeah, I'm not doing. All my stuff is done by the second week of August. Okay. So I looked at your calendar. Okay. Um, I looked at all the stuff, and in the parks, I was. I, I'm assuming you go through the same process I do. That you have to go through the parks department. Uh, so, it depends, but this year we're going to be at, in the pavilion. That's okay. It. Yeah, I'm only doing won't be in the parks. four dates in the Lion Plaza, and I went to the parks department because they have a you know a, a set of guidelines you have to go through. There and so the there was nothing else on the books those days, days, but we're not doing anything. Okay, in we'll have any of that stuff yet? Mm -hmm. I was just trying to find something to do in the summertime to bring more people down. All right, we good? All right, Mr. Terry. Thank you. We appreciate you coming and talking to us and updating. And, thank you. And again, thank if there's you. anything we can do as the board or the staff, please let us know. I will. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, um, Mr. Philbrick. I'm going to let you come first. I said we'd, uh, we're going to hold back a little bit, but uh, I think okay. you've got some very pertinent things for us also. Okay. Um, Mr. Philbrick is from uh, the uh, sailing people at the Michigan City Yacht Club, I believe. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm um, let's see, lost my papers. 
Um, this goes to the head of the table, and take one, and this goes around the other way. And uh, um, I'm Herb Philbrick, I'm the director of the uh, Michigan City Yacht Club, and uh, with familiar faces, and I have a familiar face. Um, we run, uh, uh, put on two uh, sailing uh, regattas uh, in the summer, and uh, the Port Authority has uh, been uh, uh, very supportive of those uh, events, and in the uh, in past, uh, done some pretty uh, uh, clever things in order to accommodate uh, the boats that are coming in. <clears throat> so, uh, referring to this letter, uh, the uh, two events uh, are uh, the Perfection Races, August 10th and 11th, uh, and the Tri-State Race, uh, uh, September uh, 1st and 2nd. And for those events, uh, boats will be coming in from out of town, and we should like to ask uh, permission to offer them uh, uh, rafting uh, space on the wall. You know, the boats come in and they take up some of the wall, and then they start doubling up two and three, and that's called rafting. Um, and that's uh, traditional for all events around the lake. Uh, boats are invited, and then they get to tie up someplace for free. We, in our sailing instructions, we say, if you want to slip, call the port authority. That's uh, so, uh, we're not saying give those away. It's yes. just the pace on the wall. Um, uh, also, there have been uh, some support items, infrastructure, we could uh, call it, uh, for these events. And um, over the years, we've been kind of tapering down what we asked the board. And um, this year, um, the club is renting some uh, portable toilets, and they'll be out there all summer long. And the, that uh, endeavor is shared with Coho Club and with uh, the Junior Sale. So, um, what we have asked for in the past uh, were furnishing. So we don't need to ask this uh, for the for the tri-state. Race, we do ask um, for your continued support and furnishing a security guard. And I feel that the Port Authority is much better able to manage and judge a security uh, guard rather than old sailor her. So I'd like you to support us on that. Nothing different in the past. Okay. You have uh, what, uh, what you're requesting. I I don't believe is anything different than no. past years. No, it's just the same. asking for that we assist you in the same way. Right. And of course, it's, right. and, it's, and uh, set up some barriers as, as you know for safety as you see fit. <coughs> um, by the time we're ashore and scoring the boats, we do not have the mental capacity for that level of fetish. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Very well. No, that's, that's before mm. we crack open the beer. Uh, it's a, it's kind of a strenuous thing to put that together and run it on the, run it on the water. Um, so uh, for the Tri-State, we're asking for that. For the Perfection Race, really, it's, uh, we're, I think we're self-sufficient. Okay. Um, both of those events uh, draw 35 yachts, so <clears> 25 are from out of town. And um, uh, over time, a, a long time now, um, the Port Authority has become a great, a much better host to the tri-state sailors. There, before my time, there must have been some animosity. And uh, that's been, that's a race, that's totally a race. So what we have now is kind of a, uh, a regular group of boats and people and skippers. They like coming to Michigan City. Okay. And so, with it, this, this is largely, well, it's of course the yacht clubs work, but uh, the Port Authority has really uh, opened up the uh, welcome mat. Yeah. Well, we're, we're all in this process together, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. And we're all for voting. One thing yeah. that uh, has come up in these meetings, and not in this letter, is insurance. So, I have. Um, some insurance, uh, they, I call these things a court. I don't know if they have much uh, legal standing, but I have the gory details right here. <laughs> I'd like to furnish that to you. All right. And that, uh, 
That completes my request. All right. Um, I know our attorney is looking at the, uh, the, the insurance uh, portion, uh, and I understand there's no difference from past years. Uh, I would be looking for a, a motion to approve to, to say, uh, I would be looking for that pending what uh, mm -hmm. what uh, Mr. Zach Noon finds on the insurance. But I believe that before that, I'm going to ask Mr. Johns, he had a question. Uh, okay, just Harva, I just want to make sure that that many boats in at one time, all docked in the harbor, won't interfere with the tour boat and what he's doing. No. Okay, no, that, that, that would be my only caveat. This event, both events, are going to be at the pavilion. So we're not in Millennium Park, which is a really nice place, but we have to rent it. And we're already paying rent on the <coughs> um, And uh, they're very resourceful people. And they, they have to be, you know, the Port Authority will probably have to. We'll, well, we're going to have a people helping them sign up, so we'll keep them clear of the boat uh, enough to maneuver. All right. John, before we go ahead. That was similar to my question I was going to ask. Um, uh, the, the days of those events, is there's plenty of room down there for both? Were, you not, were there last year? Yeah. It, it, you know, sailing people are, you, you can't get any more hospitable people in sailing. They're completely different okay. people in powerboarding. So, no, we helped them. We helped them raft in. We okay. helped them tie up. They were from the bridge around the corner. It's completely, you know, I'm not trying to get down on power boarders. It's just different people. Mm -hmm. and, and most of them have a lot of seamanship, so they, they know their way around. And No, it was it was great. Everybody was great, and they all rafted, and everybody was out there having a good time. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, Are we ready to move forward, then? I'm looking for um, a motion. What's the board's pleasure? I make a motion. We um, approve the request for the uh, Tri-State. Uh, may I make the adjustment pending the pending insurance, insurance review? Approval. Yeah, they've got a uh, million dollars in coverage per occurrence, two million dollars in the aggregate, which is generally what we require. Okay. Good. I take the motion as in, as, as stated. Do we have a second? I'll so we have a second from Mr. Garrett. All right. Any questions concerning the motion and the approval? <clears throat> Hearing none, we'll go vote. All those in favor of accepting this request from the uh, Yacht Club sailing, sailing director, uh, say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? So moved, approved. Thank you. Thank you very much. Got any questions as you move forward? You've got the staff, as you know, to help help uh, take care of any questions yeah. and problems. Yeah. I'm in touch with Tim as we get closer. That's good. Thanks for Thank coming you, to the board. Mm -hmm. Mike, second chance. All right, we're going to move forward. Uh, we also have in the audience uh, Mr. Roger Poltras, our uh, architect, dealing with uh, our Spring Point um, bath facility that we were talking about. Uh, Roger, I understand you have some information for us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Glad you're here. The, uh, this is the second time we have put the project out for a bid. We received no bids. I received one bid this time. Yes. Uh, and the bid is $48,371 less than our bid, the lowest bid the first time. Right. Which wasn't, which there wasn't any receipt. Right. Okay. So that, uh, I can open this up. Mm -hmm. $157,945.90. All right. Do you know what that's from? Bid is from a company called B as a boy, and DJ Associates. Uh, it's Bob and Dan uh, Jacobs are the two fellows involved. And I've worked with these fellows for most of the 30 years I've been here. Okay. And they're a very, <coughs> very reliable group of guys. Okay. Uh, I wanted to 
make you aware, sir, that mm -hmm. that uh, the form had a bunch of alternates on the second page. I called, and none of that was filled out. I called them, talked to them, and the first two alternates are included in the price, which means that we do get the shower room with it, because the first alternate said to install the shower room is specified in Joan. Mm -hmm. but that last statement, the last piece you just said, Roger, could you say that yeah, again? Yeah, the alternate number one was to add the, to the base bid to furnish and install the right. shower room as specified in Joan. That is included. I got that verbal confirmation from them today. And also all these statements, all the fixtures, the bathroom fixtures, restroom fixtures are all going to be stainless steel. Okay. Wall hung. All right. So I did have an alternate bid in here for them to be porcelain, which, you know, was... Okay, and that's, that's so stated. Right. But they did not include the third bid, alternate, which was to build the entire structure out of concrete block. He said... That would have put the price almost back up to where it was before. Okay, we'll remember that. So okay. Uh, right. And they said they can start 15 days with from the date of this signing of this contract. Okay. Of, of this proposal. So, I appreciate that. You are you keeping a copy for yourself? No, I, I did not make a copy. Of it. Well, we'll want you to make sure you have a copy. We're going to send that with the attorney, and what we're going to do is. Uh, we're going to put this out to committee, out to the special projects committee, and we'll take a look at that, and uh, we will report back to the board our findings, along with what uh, what our attorney comes up with, as far as whether that meets the letter of uh, the original bid package. Just to make sure that that's my idea of, uh, of what the, the process we need to go through on this in talking with uh, dan jacob he said everything that's on the drawings is on here okay in the bid so okay any uh any comments from, from the board so far okay uh, good job roger excuse me good job good job roger we appreciate that okay. um Mick, We'll make sure you get a copy. I want you to copy, and Joe, you, I want you to have a copy, mm -hmm. and I want you to give uh, Tim a full set of copies. That's for services rendered. Gotcha. Okay. And as far as I know, they would, like I said, within 15 days, they would be ready to go. Okay. For, oh. your, for your information, the project that they're working on now has been mentioned tonight, they are building the new pavilion that I designed for Friendship Gardens. Oh, okay. So that, that's one of their projects underway. That's good to know. So. All right. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, well, I would think that our plan is that we would meet with committee and we would be back to report uh, the, 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 uh, the recommendation at, the, at our next board meeting. So uh, we'll be moving on from that. You need to set the plan. All right. Be sure. Oh, yeah, I think I would use that. And I'd like to, I'd like to, before we leave tonight, I'd like to get a copy too. All right. Uh, moving on. Mr. Frame, you have a Harbor Master's report? Sure. Uh, last Friday, I attended a walkthrough meeting with SEH. They're the engineering company that built the parking lot out here. Also, representatives from Gary Up Construction, who are the general contractor on that. Uh, we looked at a short punch list things, uh, simple things. There's some more gravel that's going to go in the joints between the permeable pavers. Uh, they put about half in, they let that settle a little bit, and then they top it off. So that should be done this week. Also, there's some landscaping plants that are still coming. Those will probably get put in in June. Uh, the specifications called for the plants to be of a five-gallon size, and they're not quite that big yet. So once they get a little bit further, they'll put those in. And then they're going to enhance a little bit of the 
uh, I guess you'd call it cobblestone areas. After some of the rains we had, uh, the way it's set up, the runoff from the parking lot hits a cobblestone field before it moves on. And in some cases it did some washing beyond, so they're gonna extend some of the cobblestone. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. They're gonna deal with the little sidewalk in the corner there where we have a gravel path right now. Uh, the reason for the gravel path is when the park moves ahead with their one of their next phases, that's going to be taken out. So they didn't want to pour a sidewalk in there just to turn around and take it out. But we're going to improve the area from what it is right now. And they expect to have that work all finished by this weekend and the parking lot operational this weekend. So well, that's good. Now, do you need copies of this? Also, last week okay. I met with uh, Mr. Hassinger from Edgewater Resources, and we talked about a couple of things. We talked about our electroshock drowning project, where we're looking at adding GFI protection to the power outlets on the docks. We talked about a couple options there. Uh, we looked at how many power pedestals we have. And then we also looked at the, uh, the decking project, how this one turned out, and talked a little bit about how we would want to move on from there. And he's summarizing all that into an easier to understand uh, table that I should get from him next week. So once we have that, we can have a committee meeting. Bruce was unable to attend, uh, so it was just I and Mr. Hassinger. So as soon as I get the refined information from Edgewater, then we'll have a committee meeting and decide what we're gonna do. And everything else is pretty much normal. Um, we've got most of the plantings in the, in the pots and you heard from Mr. Terry, he's excited <coughs> to get going. And uh, with that, I'll answer anybody's questions. Mr. Johns. Tammy and I talked about this before. Uh, the, the, the the quality of the parking lot is so obvious, mm -hmm. it is really top notch. The adjacent area to the parking lot, in other words, mm -hmm. the, the remaining grass area, is really uneven, it's never been developed or taken care of. Right. Is there any opportunity to get the topography in that area completely rearranged and reseeded? There is some. Um, the dirt pile is going to be moved. It's going to Central <coughs> Services because the park wants to use it. There was some discussion of using some of it to even that area out a little bit now. Um, but it sounded like most of what you're talking about would come with their next phase. They're going to pick up from that eastern edge of the parking lot and continue on through the park in the next phase of the park master plan. So the, the walking trails and all that will extend, the bullard lighting will extend. So I don't know that they'll do anything in the short term, but in the medium term, that is on their list to do. And I, I assume that the WPA wall is a part of that other area that, well, that you just mentioned. Yes and no, they were looking at that as a separate project. But yeah, they're looking at it. It isn't necessarily part of the park master plan project, but everybody agrees it needs to be addressed. Well, it's, it's such a ragged looking thing next to that superior parking right. lot. Right. It, yeah. You know, it, the two don't fit. Right. Well, well, yeah. I, you know, I, I had thought that was part of the parking lot that they would redo the part that's adjacent, uh, evidently not. Yeah. Well, we want one last thing from the Harbor Master. Can you bring the board up to date on what may have been discussed regarding the Port Authority's uh, responsibility and activity in the Singing Sands project? I think we're current on our responsibility. I know that they're looking at acquiring some more property and some more right of ways. Um, Beyond that, I've not had any requests from them for us to do anything or change anything. But I know they are continuing on along their path 
to either get right of ways or gain some well, property access. As I understand the project, we are a part of phase two. Right. Do you know when phase two is supposed to begin? No, I don't. And we're not holding up anything. No. Okay, thank you. Any other questions for the Harbor Master? Maybe I, I would, uh, maybe for Mr. Frame, and I, it's not on the topics you covered. Uh, and I know it's not our responsibility, but I've noticed uh, some of the life ring buoys along the uh, pier are missing. Did that happen during the winter? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the so fire department is working on a, uh, I guess we'd call it a bracket, a better bracket to attach the stuff to the pier. Uh, there's two that got knocked off from the ice, and either we have them or they have them. I think they have one and we have the other because we were able to retrieve them. And their plan is to put them back out there. I believe they're using the school shop class to build these brackets, or at least that's my current information. So as soon as they have the brackets done, they're going to go out there and retrofit all of them. At least the ones on the pier. The ones over here on the wall on the post seem to be doing fine. It's the ones basically from the bend in the pier going to the lighthouse that seem to suffer the most from the weather. Good. Thank you. I'd like to uh, just have a quick update on the ESD and we're, we're finished redecking the 300 dock mm -hmm. and the the ESD process has been incorporated with our thinking on redecking. Is that that's right? And, but we, we just don't know the parameters of what that is going to totally entail yet. Right. Basically, at our meeting, we looked at the advantages or disadvantages of retrofitting these boxes with GFI breakers or just replacing the whole box. Right. And yeah. our the direction we're looking at is you're better off replacing the whole box. Okay. And there's a couple different reasons. The main one being these boxes are no longer made. So as you lose a lid or one gets cracked or something, you're stealing parts off another one and we're running out of parts. Right. Um, so labor wise, it's probably six of one, half dozen of the other. Just unbolt the box that's there wire up the new one that already has the GFI stuff all wired in it, as opposed to getting in there, <clears throat> taking out what you need to take out, and putting in the new stuff. What are we talking about, 500 units? Yeah, about that, yeah. total. Yeah. 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 And they, they will vary in price. The 300 dock would be the most expensive because some of those require a double 50 amp. Yeah. The majority of the, well, maybe I shouldn't say the majority, probably a good third or a little more than that of the marina are just single 30 amp. So those would be the cheapest. And then the rest of them are double 30, which would be in the middle there somewhere. Okay. You know, we've, we've talked about this for, for well over a year, year and a half, maybe two years, this whole ESD process. And that's why we're slowly moving forward to find out what's available, eventually what it might cost, that kind of stuff. I just wanted to make sure the board was updated. The idea would be to phase it along with the redecking. You know, as we redeck a dock, then we look at switching out those power boxes. The seven and eight, we could snuggle in there somewhere since we won't be redecking those. Um, but that was our, our discussion. Okay. I appreciate the update, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, Anyone else? All right, moving on. <coughs> Ms. Palicki, the uh, administrative report. At this time, we only have 13 40-foot slits yet, which is the least that we've had uh, in years available. Uh, all the 45-foot slits are gone. <coughs> and some of these bigger ones that we've had that we're filling up more with them this year. Here is the you have uh, 93 new customers. Um, there's approximately 92 cancellations that we canceled. Everybody that hasn't paid on their finished paying their bills of that. Some of those people will will come back, but for this time, they haven't paid, so they're we canceled them. Right. So uh, cancellations equal the new. Yeah. 
which is good. We're not losing. I did notice on that report that uh, there, was, there were 22 people from 22 boats, new boats, from either Michigan City or the county of the 93. That's a little over 20 percent is all. The rest come from other places. I know Mr. Johns brings those statistics up to us quite often. I thought that was rather interesting. I'm sorry, I think you're not sure if you're finished. Yes. So we could, today was an extremely busy day with really? the last few days. All right, any, any questions for Mrs. Palicki? All right, uh, moving on. Mr. Garrett, uh, budget, financial oversight, and bills. All right. Um, at the very top, this is broken into two different sections. I'm going to touch on four of the uh, what was it, 20, 21 bills. Yes. Uh, if you go six down from the top for $1,892.30, that is our water bill. Uh, four down from there for $1,699.20 is uh, HERC Reynolds, which I believe is for the lift for the painting of the trailer, trailer rack. Yeah. Trailer racks that we painted down at um, Trail Creek that we saw pictures of at the last meeting. Um, three from there is uh, for $2,823.95 is MB Electric. And uh, two more, three down from there uh, for eleven thousand four hundred thirty-five dollars is our Mexico bill. So if you take those four items, they total just under eighteen thousand of the twenty-four, and uh, or sorry, of the twenty, of the twenty-four thousand that's there, which leaves roughly about seven thousand uh, for the other eighteen, seventeen um, items on this list. Then we get into the big bucks at the bottom from, and this is all from capital uh, projects. Um, the top item is just from Edgewater, but the other two are uh, from Gary Up Construction and Larson Danielson, which Gary Up is for the parking lot. And this is a major portion of the parking lot. And then the Larson Danielson is uh, roughly all of it. What we had left over, we paid a up front some for the product of getting the wood in and then this is the second half and there may be some change order stuff that comes in later so um that is what the capital improvement projects are so um without if there are no other questions i would uh, make a motion that we pay our bills as presented we have a motion to pay the bills as presented do we have a second i second we have a second Mr. any questions any questions? Uh, not hearing any, we'll vote. All those in favor of pairing our bills as stated, say aye. 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 Opposed? Passed. I do have a question on uh, Gary F. Not, not the bill, but uh, shows 229000 for uh, paying, boy, paying for the parking lot. I believe that our total liability will be close. This is my guess, uh, close to another hundred thousand eventually. Yeah. This is just because that was the forty percent of the total in that area. And if that's correct, I just wanted the board to yeah. realize that's coming up. <coughs> yeah, evidently, it is correct. That's, like an that's all I have. Uh, <coughs> here, anything else? That's all. Excellent. Thank you, uh, Mr. Haynes. Claims insurance. Uh, I have nothing. All right. Any questions for uh, Mr. Hayes? I do. I don't know who this would go to. With the now parking lot almost in its final stages and being turned over, who does that fall under? Us. Okay. It does? Or is that still part of the ownership of the city? Well. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It's under our jurisdiction. Okay. So we yeah. need to have it covered for? Right. Insurance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is it just a property add-on, or is there probably? A... Yeah, okay. I can't believe it'd be very much. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'm like, it's... All right. well, I'll talk to Charlie. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Haynes and you and Carver Master get together on yeah. that, and uh, when we get that, we'll run it by our attorney, make sure it's all nice and clean. Thank you for bringing that up, Aaron. <laughs> uh, anything else? 
port, port operations. Uh, I don't have anything that hasn't been already covered. I've got my whole list here, and everything's been covered, unless anybody has a question for me. Hearing none, moving on. Mr. Messina, voter communication special events. Um, the note that I have down uh, starting June, July, and August, the first Saturday of each month, second Saturday, excuse me, of each month, uh, 10 a.m., is our uh, DAP representative meetings. I'll probably meet with uh, Mr. Frame, Mrs. Pilecki, and maybe go through the list of people that we do invite and see if we have anybody that uh, uh, we need to add or detract from that list and have a mailing out to them inviting them. It's going to be the 13th, looks like. Whoops, so I'll just the 8th. June, June 8th is the first. That would be the second Saturday, yeah. Second, the second Saturday. Saturday. June mm -hmm. 8th would be the uh, the first get-together, I believe. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have. Give me a second. Okay. Anything, uh, anything else? No? Danny? Uh, nothing else. Oh, yeah. uh, any, any question for Mr. Messina? Mr. Manor is not here from Master Planning and Special Projects. We kicked that around. We'll be meeting to go over. He'll I'll remind him to call a meeting to talk about the items that we've kicked around here a little bit, and we'll get back to the board on. Uh, Mrs. Mir, advertising and public relations? Um, I just have general information um, for the public. Um, Saturday, May 25th, uh, the Michigan City Food Truck will be in Fetters Alley, and also on Sunday, May 26th. So Saturday and Sunday, the uh, food truck will be in Fetters Alley for the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, just wanted to shoot out there, uh, June 8th is Brew at the Zoo, 5 to 8, that's on a Saturday. And one other thing I wanted to put out there just to get people started is uh, Saturday, June 8th as well, is the Swell Music Festival. I understand uh, it should be a lot bigger this year. Last year was their first uh, try at it and they had a few uh, groups out, but this year I understand they have a, a bigger showing this year. So uh, Saturday, June 8th for the Swell Music Festival, that's at Westcott pa uh, Park. 1 to 10 o'clock that day. But that's it. Just some general information. Yeah. Appreciate the update. Uh, you know, we we all know the beautiful facilities we have down here in Washington Park and upstream. And it's, I always look forward to it. I mean, middle of April to the middle of October, there's usually something going on down there. It's a lot of fun for everybody. Any questions for uh, Mrs. Muir? All right, moving on. It. Mr. Zach Dune, I know you have a couple items. I hope you have a couple items you want to talk about. Well, I, I only have one that I can recall, and that's the uh, the memorandum that I circulated to the board and staff uh, regarding uh, issues related to uh, vessel yes. owners who uh, still have balances due. Uh, obviously, because it's related to litigation or potential litigation, we don't discuss those things in, in our public meetings, uh, but we would discuss those in executive session, although whatever the board decides to do based on the discussions in executive session has to be done in a public meeting. But uh, I, I wouldn't want to talk into any detail about what's reflected in the memorandum because that is, it is a privileged communication with the board and it's attorney work product. Uh, so uh, perhaps the, uh, the president would set an executive session if you feel that's necessary and then I can answer any questions uh, that the board members may have and then the board can uh, make a decision in a public session as to what they want to do. Well, well, let me let me let me generalize if I if I can, and if I start going where I shouldn't, let me know because I wasn't going to talk about any specifics. But you do talk about some recommendations. Yes. Okay. Uh, there are, there are three paragraphs. I looked at I've read it a couple times trying to understand, but that first paragraph seemed like a, a, a direction that's not a big deal for for us to have to uh, talk about it. It seemed like the reasonable and cost-effective means to look look towards that. And I know the board has opportunities to have a, to, to, to review this. Uh, some of the points in the, the second paragraph. 
Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get into anything that's in in the memo. No, I wasn't. Okay. No, I was just going to say some of those things that are in the other one. I think we might need to talk further about. Yeah. That's that's well, as far okay. as I was going. But if if we would agree that the, the that first paragraph is pretty much, you know, give it a shot. Uh, I don't know why we, if you've all had a chance to look at that, and why we couldn't just give the our attorney the opportunity to go forward with at least the things there. If you're not comfortable with what I'm talking about, we'll we'll take this to an executive session. But I'm just trying to avoid getting together to do something that we might not need to do yet. I would Mr. Jones, having, I would prefer having an executive session. Right. and be able to discuss this in detail because each year each year we deal with more and more and more and more on this subject uh, I, th I think having an executive session to really be able to have the direction and the guidance professionally that we should have done before uh, would be really appropriate I I would not be comfortable voting on this without an executive session. And that way I could answer questions and sure. give further and additional explanations. That's fine. I'm just uh, trying to move things along if we, if we thought we could do that. All right. We're going we're gonna to set up an executive session. Is there, when, uh, are there certain times in the next week, uh, roughly a week, that uh, our, our, our nose will be bad times for anybody? How about how about um, one of the Monday evenings that we don't have a meeting? All right. Yeah. How about uh, next 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 Monday? Well, next Monday Memorial Day. Day. It's Memorial Day. <laughs> how about the how about the day after that? Or Tuesday? Is that a? But we could be around Tuesday, and then we could pick up a talk about a time that's convenient for everybody. Yeah. Generally convenient. <laughs> Four o'clock, five o'clock. Let's I'm, not keep the staff any longer than I'm, we need to. If you need to, I wouldn't be able to make it, but that's I work. I'm just looking for a date and time, yeah. so yeah, that you can make your, you know, if you can't make it, you can make your your thoughts. You yeah, know. yeah. I, that's I, I'm fine with that. I mean, I just All just right. to like. I'm looking at Tuesday at uh, three o'clock, three p.m. Okay. next a week from tomorrow. At three o'clock. Yeah, Does I that fit in? I think so. You guys don't wait till four, right? If it were earlier. Could you do earlier? Sir? Could you do earlier? Earlier? Yeah. Sure. Like one? I can. One? We're talking one o'clock. Aaron can be here if we have it at one o'clock. Tuesday at one o'clock. And you said it's not the end of the world if uh, we made our uh, thoughts known via, via email. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Uh, yeah, I, mean, it's a, I, I would just be cautious about using email. email okay. If there's an exception in the open yeah. door statute. It's just it. Gotcha. Right. You might do word of mouth. Okay. And just, you know, just to well, maybe pass it be, on to. Uh, yeah. I think you'd be okay if you emailed something to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Let's then I could that. perhaps share that in the executive okay. session. And okay. if that doesn't work, by all means, go with the three. I'm just saying if that doesn't work for other people, go with the three. That Either way, I'll make it. No, I don't really have any comments right, anyway. We're, we're, <laughs> we're looking at one o'clock right now. One okay. o'clock next week for tomorrow. Does that give you plenty of time for advertising? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so be it. That, uh, what's, what's that date? 28th. 28th. All right, 528. Tuesday, 1 p.m. Done. Uh, you know that I said two things, Mr. Zach knew, and that those were both of them. There was another issue in there, but you covered it. Give me a second, please. Mr. Zach Dune, did you have anything else? Uh, no, I'm just, I will uh, look over the, the bid. I'm just looking over, I mean, there are a number of things, if I recall correctly, the, the bidder was supposed to provide, in addition to this, uh, the no business with Iran, the, the no discrimination. This, this seems a little thin. 
but I, I will look it over and, and let you know ASAP. Right. Make sure that if Tim doesn't have a copy of what you've been given before you leave tonight, right? Please, okay. All right. Did anybody else have uh, anything for Mr. Zach Noon? All right. Do we have any new business to come before the board? <clears throat> we have any old business to come before the board? Mr. Cooper? I is never asked. <laughs> uh, Monday, the Michigan City Yacht Club, along with the uh, Coast Guard, along with the Sea Scouts, along with the Sailing School, will be presenting the blessing of the fleet. All boats, anyone connected with the marina, uh, are welcome to come down. We'll start it off with the pancake breakfast about 8 o'clock in the morning. I believe the blessing of the fleet is at 11 o'clock. Uh, not to interfere with whatever time they might be uh, doing other things with uh, uh, Memorial Day services. Uh, with there will be um, the blessing of the boats and then with the Coast Guard there will be a laying of the wreath in memory of uh, sailors that have lost their lives. So anybody with a board that would like to come or any publicity you would get, like to get out there, uh, we would appreciate it. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate your, uh, your letting us know that information. It's always good to see you. Um, anything else? Uh, unless there's something else to come before the board, I'll look for a motion to adjourn. Make a motion we adjourn. We are adjourned. Next meeting is the 3rd of June. We'll executive meeting next Tuesday. I will. I will.